Look at me while I'm not depressed no more Not crying from the stress no more The ass I fall, I see I'm gone However far God let me go And yeah, I've been reborn I told my older self to let me go How you doing? What's up? How you feeling? What up? My name BJ, what's your name? Make sure y'all comment below how y'all feeling today, how y'all doing. Even if it's something quick, you could just say I'm good, I'm happy, I'm getting better, I'm healing, I'm working on myself, I'm trying. If things is tough, just let me know how you feel in the comments. This is a safe space. We all here to help all here to help each other. Anyways, hope to welcome back to the more BJ channel where y'all get more of BJ. Yes, sir. Ski. This video is about narcissism. I wouldn't say how I fixed it, but how I got better at it. I'm going to this video. I'll narcissist here, so here how I fixed it. Okay, let, let, me, let me just explain what a narcissist is, right? Okay. A narcissist is a person with excessive interest in oneself and one's physical appearance. Okay? Anybody, anybody or any person who's excess, uh, like obsessed with themselves, talk about themselves a lot, always say I'm perfect, I'm a good this, I'm a good that, I'm a this. And never really like say anything bad about themselves. This is my this is my like experience with narcissism, and what I've learned about it within myself. And I feel like a point in time where I thought I was perfect. I thought I didn't do nothing wrong. I I, I never like I never could I, I could never do no wrong. In my eyes like I, I I didn't know no wrong. I feel like I was a perfect boyfriend, perfect son, and perfect everything. You can't tell me nothing. I'm right no matter what. I'm perfect. Like I say, that's what I thought about myself because I I I thought the effort I put in into what I do for people, I do for myself was very high. So it's like there's nobody better than me that I'm perfect and you can't replace me and I'm the best ever to do this at whatever I'm doing, especially from relationships. This is a big problem. In relationships. I was young, but my first time ever hearing narcissism, I mean I think I still do it now, but it's way less. You know, it's not stuff you just get out of your system, but time since, since I become more self-aware of myself, it's Definitely going down a lot, okay? But the first time I've ever heard the word narcissism was about 2020. So if you know, um, I was going through a, a breakup with my um, ex-girlfriend a couple years ago. And then, you know, he's going back and forth on the internet. And, you know, like the, the way I was speaking about things, people was like, oh, you have not, like, you're a narcissist. The way I was speaking about things, while I was saying things, while I was expressing myself about the situation, People were the call nurses. I never knew what, knew what, knew what this was. I'm, I'm, I don't think at the time I looked it up, but I think I, I ended up, I ended up talk to, talking to another, another person, and then they was like, yeah, "You are nurses. You're nurses." So they kind of like said it again. And when they said it, is when I was when I really was like, "What does this even mean? Like, why, why I keep calling me this?" You know what I'm trying to say? So that's when I first ever heard of a narcissist or even discovered narcissism. I didn't know what it was. I know, I you know, we, these these were these were new. Gaslighting, manipulation. Trauma, emotional maturity, self awareness. I ain't, we I, we ain't know nothing about none of that until 2020. <laughs> 2020 really ex emotional intelligence. 2020 really exposed anxiety. Like these exposed these emotional words to us because we always in the house learning so much from TikTok and YouTube. Every everybody was becoming healers and giving our information. So we learned. So that's when that's when these these these, these words became like buzzwords. Like so, and people people started looking to them and started learning them. So. 2020 is the first time I ever learned what, what a narcissist, narcissist or narcissism is. Right? These are, these are like, these these are like the Google description of 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 giving details of what narcissists do, or what or or, 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 or some traits they I would say traits they have, which is attention seeking, strong need for praise and recognition, manipulation, never admitting fault. And resentful of criticism. So, if you are attention seeking, strongly for strongly for praise, recognition, manipulative, never admitting fault or resentful of criticism, you you have narcissistic traits. I mean, you are a narcissist, but you have traits. I think narcissism is like, is, is like a diagnosed thing. You have to get diagnosed with that. So, you probably have traits. You might not be a full narcissist, but you have traits. For my life, the way the way I was narcissistic, I feel like I was a very high level pe pe people pleaser. Like I was a high level people pleaser. And that I feel like since since I I I did so much for everybody that I definitely needed excessive praise. Like you feel me, excessive. I think I think I was definitely a attention seeker, excessive praise. I did certain things for attention, or I did certain things for praise or recognition. So I agree. Manipulative. I don't know if I did this purpose. Like 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 none of these things I did purposefully. Like I didn't do this. Cause I, on purpose, this is like it just happened from trauma, what it, what you learned. So, 
manipulative. I feel like I I, I do. I, I feel like I was manipul very manipulative because. Like, I think I'm so intelligent that I use my intelligence and what I do and to outweigh what I don't do. And I use what I do and my intelligence to kind of form different ways of explaining things or different ways of making make stuff seem okay or different ways of, like, like I, I kind of balance my goodness with a lot of, with, with my, with like, just like with my negative ways, my good with my negative ways. And so, I did so much good that if I did bad, it was never a thing. So I, I think that was like a, a big part. Like I, I would say a good part of my, my, my manipulation. Like I played that I'm a good guy role so good, and I was doing like a lot of bad stuff undercover. So yeah, I would say that. Never admitting fault. I don't feel like I ever had a problem at saying I'm sorry or my fault or I'm wrong. I never had a problem with that. I never had a problem saying those things or being accountable. I, I, don't, I don't feel like I ever was an uncommon pe person. Like, I feel like I always was like, no problem, my fault. If I'm wrong, I always say my fault. I don't think I ever had a problem doing that. Um, resentful of criticism. Yes, I definitely was a big player in not accepting criticism. I feel like I always had figured out, you can't tell me nothing, I don't care what you're saying. And I feel like if you did come to me with something, I got defensive. Even even sometimes now, when my girl tell me stuff, I get defensive. I'm trying to say I'm not fully healed from this, but I've gotten a lot better from from these ways in these in these, in these situations of how I handle things. So I handle things now. How you fix these traits? Person is realizing that you're not perfect. So if you have like perfect per, per, perfect person syndrome, I don't do no wrong. I'm always right. You ain't perfect. Yes, should stink like everybody else should stink. You got problems like everybody else. Like you, you struggle with things like everybody else. You have issues. You have trauma. You have un, uh, you have unresolved issues or emotions or shadow work you have to do within yourself that you haven't done yet. And if someone's if someone's calling you a narcissist or or say you have narcissist traits, that means that they see something in you that they learned or heard or they dealt before that's bad. So for you to heal from your narcissism or your traits you have to realize you're not perfect you have to, you have to be self-aware and aware that you're not perfect you have to look into yourself or look look into what someone else tells you about yourself and see if it makes sense like oh damn this person said i was a bad person this person said i was i was um i was a liar or i was a thief or i was manipulative or i was most unintelligent or, 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 or lack accountability look look into yourself and see where your faults are that someone tells you, because most of the time people tell you these things. So if you look at these things and be like, okay, does this make sense? And if it makes sense, like, okay, this person's right, then you have to fix these things in order to grow for, from your traits. Like for, for me to get better, I had to realize I wasn't perfect. Like I had I had perfect boyfriend syndrome. Like I thought I thought I did no wrong. And for me to get better from that, I had to realize that like, damn, I have faults. Like, damn, I do stuff wrong. Damn, like and, and it took a person that I actually cared about. To tell me that I, I did stuff wrong, to tell me that I was wrong, to tell me that I wasn't the perfect, to tell me, to show me that I had bad characteristics for me to, in order for me to learn. If you want to change your ways, ask somebody you care about how they feel about you, how they view you, all the things you can change, and then when they tell you that, take it in. No, you don't get upset. Admitting to your wrong slash accountability. If someone tells you that you you did something to them. Say your, 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 your girlfriend says, like your boyfriend says, babe, you hurt my feelings when you said you don't, you don't like the way I cook. And if you say, I never said that. Or, 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 or like, if your girlfriend says, babe, the tone you used yesterday when, when, when we were talking kind of bothered me. Can you say, I'm sorry? You'd be like, oh, I ain't raise my voice at you. Da -da -da, I didn't do nothing wrong. Da -da 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 -da. But, okay, boom. If your partner doesn't like you raising your voice, and you raise your voice and they, they come to you about it and you know you know you raise your voice if, if you, you, you probably didn't scream at them or yell at them but you know you was a little a little high strong your tone wasn't a normal tone then say i'm sorry admit to your wrong if someone tells you that the the way you talk or the way you speak or the way you carry yourself bothers them or is wrong and you care about that person then you have to Look into yourself, become self-aware, and admit to that fault. Like, okay, my fault, I'm wrong. 
if you do anything wrong or, or someone tells you wrong, look to yourself. And if you're wrong, say I'm wrong. Admit to you're wrong. Be accountable. If you're wrong, be accountable. If, if you have a struggle with being accountable, then you have some narcissistic traits because narcissists don't know how to be accountable. They don't know how to say I'm sorry. So if you if you struggle with this, with a partner or your or a mother or a sister or a brother, they tell you something and, and you take it and, and you take offense to it instead of look, looking into it and, and, and digesting it and breaking it down to see if this is true or not, then you have some, some wrong traits in you. You know, not everything someone tells you is right. But if someone tells you about yourself, look into it, break it down, see if it makes sense, digest it, take your time. If it makes sense, change it, apologize, and move forward. So it's gonna take time because mine took some time. You know, it's it's it's, it's deep rooted issues we have, or we've had, or we're or, or we're healing from. So it's okay if they take time. Just make sure, make sure you know that you have problems because we all do. Trust me. Seeing someone else's perspective. Okay. Say you you and your mom in the car driving, and she like, oh baby, you driving a little too fast. I'm scared. But in your brain, it's like. I normally drive 90 miles per hour. Why are you so scared? No. It's your mom. Your mom might drive 60 miles per hour max. So if you drive at 90 and it's bother her, you have to be like, damn, she is an older woman. She might not be speeding as much as I am. So maybe me going 90 or 80 might scare her. Maybe slow down when she's in the car or overall so she won't be scared. That's seeing someone's perspective. No, 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 another issue. If you got a, a, a girl, and your girl says, babe, I don't like the way, I don't like, I don't, I don't like the way you handle that situation. And you, you and your brain is like, what? I, I hate it like this. Like, I, I thought it made sense to me. But she's like, nah, I don't like the way you handle it because it didn't make sense to me. You have to look at it from her perspective. Okay, maybe, maybe she, she don't like when I'm aggressive. Maybe she don't like when I'm loud. When I say this this way, or, or when, when, I, when I act this way. That's because you're used to that. That means she's used to that. So you have to look into yourself, self-reflect, digest, and change it. If you are that person, how would you feel? If I was that person, how would I feel? If I did what I did, if I did what I did to that person and did it to me, how would I feel? That's a part of looking at other perspective. If if someone did what I did to them to me, how would I feel about that? That's a, a telltale way of life of easy fixes bro e that, that, i'm telling you once you once you look at stuff like if I, if if someone did what i did to them to me how would i feel it would literally change so much things in you because you wouldn't want you wouldn't want to feel how you made somebody else somebody else feel so if you made somebody else feel bad you want you, you want to want to feel how they feel so stop making a, stop making that person feel bad and if you if you doing certain things that she does that person doesn't like makes them feel bad then you should be like, damn, I see whenever I do this, she gets mad. Maybe I should stop. That's being self-aware. That's being accountable. That's realizing not perfect. So all those things tie into perspective. So all these things tie, in, tie into one, one big thing. See the other person's perspective. Treat people how you want to be treated. Okay? Realizing that there are other people better or just as good as you. This, this is a good one. Because... When you have excessive adoration of self or uh, an obsession with self, you feel like nobody can't top you. Like there's nobody better than you. Like nobody on earth could beat you or top you or a, a girl can't find better or a guy can't find better. That is not true. There is somebody out there way better than you at what you're doing. <laughs> Trust me, it might not be hard. It might not be easy to find. It might not be down the block. It might not be around the corner. But there's a person out there doing what you do at a way higher level, way better, way more organized, <laughs> way more, just overall in, in a in a in a grander scheme, in, in, in a grander way, they're doing what exactly what you're doing in a way grander way. You know what I'm saying? So bro, I now realize that there are men out here that are better than me. I know that. I know that now. Before I'm like I'm the best. You can't find better than me. Even though I'm confident in myself and I know what I bring to the table, I know what type of guy I am, but there's still a man out there that is a thousand times better than me. Honestly, 
I'm not the best. I'm not the best guy in the world. Of course, I'm confident in myself. I know who I am. I love myself, of course. But I know damn well that there's a guy in, out there somewhere in the world that is ten times better than me at YouTube, sports, soccer, being a boyfriend, being a father, being a sister, being a cousin, being a dad, being whatever he need to be or she need to be. That ain't better than me. I'm not the best, but I'm, I might be good, but I ain't the best. I might be great, but there's somebody greater. So that. That letting go of that e egotistical thing where you think you're the best at everything, because that's not true. You can be, of course, confidence is a, be confident. We, we, we love confidence. We praise confidence. But you also have to understand that you're not the best, gang. And that's okay. Just be, just be the best be, be the best you you can be. That's all we're saying. Those are the top four things, top four things that I use to get better at healing my, 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 my traits that I have. They're still there. They ain't gone. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not. I don't got no stretch. They're still there. They're, 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 they're just a little, a little less. They're, they're, a, little, they're, a, little, they're a little more up. They're not. They're not so deep rooted. The, the roots are. The roots. I'm, I'm. I'm in the soil, digging the roots out. I'm grabbing the. I'm grabbing the tree trunk and I'm ripping out the floor. That's the point I'm at right now. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm in the soil with a little scooper. I'm scooping out the soil, getting to the root. Um, the root. The roots is out. The roots is out. You know, I, I'm. I dug the roots out. The roots is there. Now I'm pulling each root out, so I can break tree trunk up, so I can be gone of it, or it can be gone of my system. But you know, we all have deep rooted trauma, and we have to understand that, like, it's okay, bro. It's okay. We all got it. It's not only you. It's not only your, your girl. It's not only your mom. It's everybody in the goddamn world that that grew up a certain way got trauma, and it's our job to fix it. Not a parent's job. Not a cousin job. Not a mother job. Not a dad job. It's our job to fix our trauma. Of course, they can help us. We can get help from therapists or friends or family, but it's our job to heal our trauma. It's your job to heal your trauma. So if you have traits of narcissism, or somebody told you is narcissist, then look into that, digest that, see where that's coming from, see how you can fix it, and fix it. That's all I'm saying. Especially, especially if, you, if, if you're hearing from, from, from this person and that person and this girl and that girl or this guy and that guy, fix it. Like, fix it. Look into yourself, be accountable, realize it's not perfect, and fix it. I gave you the problem, and I gave you the solution. It's your job to fix it. Okay? So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm, I'm me drop dropping more videos on, on this channel like this. Just just basically give you people some tips and tricks of what I've been through, what I went through. So how to deal with it, how to get better at it. Because I ain't perfect and I'm here to make show you that I ain't perfect. And I'm here to help you to, and help you realize you're not perfect so you can get better. It's like I'm doing here. So this channel is a overall channel to help people get better. I'm helping myself get better while talking about this. Because now I'm, now, I'm, now I'm openly telling you the problems and the solutions. So now I can look into myself and see, damn, have I gotten better? Have I changed? What do I need to fix? Do I still understand anything? Am I still doing these doing these solutions? Do I still have these problems? So it's also, it's also helping me as long as helping you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Yeah. Stop being nervous, Monica. Stop being manipulative. Be accountable. Fuck me. How is your boy? I'm out of spots. I'm make a Can I grab a more bridge in the pop? Look at me while I'm not depressed no more Not crying from the stress no more The ass I fall, I see I'm gone However far God let me go And yeah, I've been reborn I told my oldest self to let me go